I cheated. There, you have it. Happy people generally would just go about the place thinking, hey, let me go cheat. Welcome to On Air with Murray and today we'll be talking about the topic, happy people won't cheat. Yes, do you agree or do you disagree? Can somebody please explain to me what is going on? Well, to give you an idea as to how persons view this topic, I throw it out on my social media platform and this is what persons had to say. persons had a lot to say. I know I see some of the comments and I was cracking up. And aside from those who were bold enough to share their opinion on the topic, there were a few persons who, who slip in the DM, you know, just to express how they feel about it. Here's what, don't mind me, the noise that you're hearing is not anything to do with my little recording or so, it's the rain. And y'all know it's Guyana we live in and it's the rainy season, so let's get back to the topic. Happy people won't cheat. For me, we need to understand what is it to be happy before we even reach the cheating. So, you know, humans, we're filled with emotions. Sometimes we're going to be sad. Sometimes we're going to be happy. Sometimes we're going to be in between. So what really is happiness? You might ask yourself. So this is my little take on what is happiness. You got to be willing to accept yourself for whoever you are, you know, finding you looking deep down inside and saying well hey this is who i am and i'm not afraid to say who i am and that simply means you must be comfortable in your outer appearance you must be comfortable being around people you must be comfortable with your own achievements you must be comfortable with life generally because if you are not comfortable with life generally then you're going to project that I want to term it negative energy onto others. And the minute you start doing that, it's like you're projecting your bad energy onto people and you're trying to turn them into what you are hoping you can be. And sometimes you're lying to yourself. Let's just put it plain blank. You're fucking lying to yourself. So it's time you wake up, accept yourself. So in order for you to be happy and you won't cheat, I kind of agree that happy people won't cheat. There, you have it. You have my opinion. Happy people definitely want you because if you're satisfied with yourself completely inside out, then there's no reason for you to seek other means to make yourself feel validated or satisfied, you know? So I don't think that happy people generally would just go about the place thinking, hey, let me go cheat, you know, because they're gonna be happy with the self one. However, this is where cheating comes in. If your partner is not happy with the self and maybe they're not happy with your relationship, then they're gonna go outside. I'll take some water for that. 12 seconds later. So it's all about understanding what makes a relationship a relationship. So in order for that relationship to work, you gotta be single and then you gotta be a unit together. So cheating in my book is as simple as sending flirtatious message publicly and privately. So it's not just about who you're fucking, if you're linking up, where there's any type of sexual activity, flirting is as simple as entertaining people. Nice. So if you can draw the line and draw boundaries and tell people, hey, I'm in a relationship, you need to respect that. I've been in positions where I cheated. I'm not afraid to say that because you know what? That is a part of me and it's a part of my past and I can't run from it. However, 
moving forward, I could try and better myself. But when I really look back at majority of these situations, there were genuine cases where a plain old was a hoe and a cheat. Then there were cases where I was not doing anything or I was trying to preserve the relationship and be faithful. And then guess what? Your partner fuck you over and do whatever and you find out and then you realize like you can't move past the mistakes in the relationship and then you're stifling yourself in that relationship so in order for you to have that independence and that freedom you have to leave it and listen people come in your life for a reason and a season i keep telling y'all this and the sooner everybody understand this because sometimes we might we might be holding on to somebody telling ourselves that this person is supposed to be here for the long haul but guess what the person just come to teach you a lesson and sometimes that lesson is you just don't take people by by a uh, face value and you have to learn and sometimes even happiness comes with a little bit of pain because you have to hurt in order to accept and appreciate what you have in life and that is your peace of mind and whatever makes you tick as a person even if it's deep down inside so you must not be afraid to know your own truth, whatever that is, and don't be afraid to see the dark side of you. You don't need to compare yourself with other people because guess why? You might be seeing them and telling yourself that their happiness is what you need. Guess what? You don't fucking need that. You don't need to pretend to be other people just to be happy. And they got a lot of people pretending to be happy. I wholeheartedly think that happy people won't cheat. Because if you have something genuine and something that is working, why would you want to fuck it up? However, as it relates to people pretending, this is just the next topic that we might tackle. You know, people are not what they're supposed to be. So don't get carried away with these social media whores. When the camera's off, that's when reality hits.